is your E010 or Inductrix not doing it for you? In this video, I will show you how to go from Tiny Whoop to Super Whoop. I am Corey with Crash and Burn Racing and welcome back to another video. Here are the parts today that we're going to be using to make our, our uh, Super Whoop. We've got a Inductrix frame, we've got the Crazy Pony uh, all-in-one canopy and camera. We've got our B-Core controller. We've got these three blade props that are made by RKH. And we have our super fast motors. Now this build is super light. And the way we got that is starting off with this frame. The reason I went with the inductor's frame this time is that, what the heck, oh, hold on. Our, our inductor's frame weighs 3.24 grams compared to the Ishin frame of uh, 4.99 so we can save sh shave some weight there and our camera with the canopy here comes in at 5 or excuse me 4.50 grams and I actually have part of an inductor one here and uh, I did lighten up this canopy about a half a gram by cutting all this stuff off of it But it does have the actual inductrix um, camera and transmitter and that there weighs 6.21 grams so just by Going with this frame and this canopy we should come in super light it should be under 20 grams so I am going to get all these parts put together and we'll come back in for a weighing. Oh, one more thing actually. These props are actually a little bit lighter also. So we'll weigh four props that you typically use. Our four blade props come in at 1.15 grams and our three blades come in at 1.0. Not a whole lot really saved there, but it will all add up in the end. Here is our fully assembled whoop. These cameras have a tendency to pop out of this canopy and to alleviate that I took some liquid electrical tape right here pretty much get any hardware store stuff works great and I put a dab where the board meets the canopy here and right here I put it on a little thick in that little spot so when you need to take it off you can easily just peel it off take your camera off and you, you know put your new antenna on or whatever you need to do and then I also cut a little piece of foam right here and uh you use the electrical tape again, liquid electrical tape, and uh, put it on here to hold it on. And this should definitely uh, make this antenna last a lot longer. And if you see this connector here, you might notice it's a it's a uh, larger than normal. And this is the 2.0 connector, which is made to help get all of your juice out of these batteries. Because the the old the 1.5 connectors, they weren't great at getting all the amperage to your motors. So this is a uh, for a good step up, or I should say upgrade to your battery. And some other little things is I put some little O-rings on here to help hold these wires in place. And I told you guys that this would weigh under 20 grams. So let's see if I was correct. Here's our scale, and we'll put it on. And there we go, it is under 20 grams, 19.9 grams. That is pretty good. Far as I know, there's no other way to build this and get it under 20 grams and I did order pretty much all these parts from uh, race day quads I'll have the link down below the price came out to be about 84 bucks so their prices are really good so go check them out if you want to get you know your parts quickly in, uh, in the United States so um, let's check out some flight footage and talk some more about this right away there was a noticeable performance increase from my previous E010 build the three blade props seem to perform just as well if not better than the four blade props and performance sag after two and a half minutes of hard flying was very good. Horizon and Acro mode were both smooth and stable. I'll have my PIDs in the description below along with links to all the parts I used for this build and using the affiliate link to race day quads would be greatly appreciated. After flying an E010 and the blade inductrix I can say without a doubt that this build has a lot more potential. If you have any questions about this build, please post them in the comment section below. Future videos will be moving towards mini quad racing. I have several custom racing quads in development, so if that interests you, consider subscribing. 
I want to thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video from Crash and Burn Racing. 